Hi, I'm James Arnold. I'm the Programme Director of the MRES in Translational Cancer Medicine here at King's College London. The programme is established as two six-month research rotation projects. We try to minimise the taught component where possible with one essay that is written off the back of seminars that run from the beginning of term through to the end of January. This is only two hours of um, seminars each week with the majority of your time spent in the lab to really get a hands-on experience with what research is and how to get your research skills for moving on to a career in research. So my name is Sofia Karagianis. I'm a reader in Translational Cancer Immunology here at King's uh, and my group works in antibody engineering and discovery for the treatment of different types of tumours and we're also interested to understand the B-cell and antibody response in patients with cancer to be able to find out what it is that doesn't work. I'm Professor Joy Birchall. Um, I'm head of the Breast Cancer Biology Group uh, based in the Cancer Centre at uh, Guy's Hospital. My group is particularly involved in breast cancer and how changes in glycosylation affect the cancer cells' interaction with the microenvironment. My name is Dr. Shiba Irshad. I'm a clinician scientist, which basically means that I spend two days um, of my week in clinic seeing patients. I treat patients with breast cancer and the rest of the time I have my own independent group here at the Guy's Cancer Centre. My main interest is really to understand um, the crosstalk that takes place between tumours and immune cells. So I'm Jack, I studied the MRES in 2016. I now work as a clinical trial practitioner at UCL. Hey, I'm Chelsea. So I studied the MRES Translational Cancer Medicine a few years back and I'm now doing um, a PhD in oncology in Oxford and I'm now in my second year. My project is in cancer immunotherapy. Uh, my name is Felix, I am a year two PhD student studying the cancer studies. I actually studied the MRES back in 2014. And I studied on the Translational Cancer Medicine course in 2016. Since completing my master's, I have stayed on at King's and been working as a research assistant. Hi, my name is Emily Massad, and I'm currently doing the MRES in Translational Cancer Medicine. So, my name is Aisha, um, and I'm a research master's student at King's College London, and I'm doing my master's in Translational Cancer Medicine. So, hi, I'm Meghna. Uh, I'm doing MRES Cancer Translational Medicine at King's College London. So I've had about three students so far um, and they've all had very different skill sets and actually it's been amazing because um, they come quite motivated, they have quite fixed projects that we can kind of, we have a timeline of what we want to do and um, I've had a very positive experience, they add a lot to the group um, and in fact one of them has now come back as one of the my um, team members so it's been a great opportunity to meet young talent that could then come back. So we've been taking students in the lab to do research projects since I think 2012. We have had uh, students from basic uh, biosciences background but also clinical fellows and we have a range of projects looking at either antibodies and antibody functions and engineering to looking at the B-cell response and outcomes in patients with cancer. Uh, we have had a very exciting uh, cohort of uh, students. Um, we have uh, published good work uh, from their uh, research. A lot of uh, work is already underway, which consolidates the work that students have started. Um, and I, I think it's been a very positive experience for everybody. So we've had a number of students over the last few years. Um, we've usually um, had a, a really good experience with them. They've been extremely helpful in the lab and I think they've learned a lot. I think the, the lab environment really teaches, teaches the students really how to actually go about research, how to learn the techniques and how to interpret experiments and actually to design their own experiments. So again, as long as I think I have been taking students, I've also been teaching on the programme every year. Um, and I dis normally my lecture is around um, the immune response and cancer and how that has led, these insights have led to novel therapies uh, which now make a difference in patients with 
certain solid tumors such as melanoma, for instance. And also we talk about the basic research that goes on here at King's that we think one day might help patients with certain types of malignancies. My background is accounting and finance, which I moved on to biomedical sciences in immunology. The translational cancer medicine course essentially bridges the gap between the lab and the bench side. I mean, I looked at a lot of different courses, but I chose this particular course because what uh, jumped out at me was this is a translational cancer degree. Um, and I've always been quite keen to look at how research translates into clinical practice today. So I completed my undergraduate degree at the University of Surrey in Biomedical Sciences. I then took a year off, I uh, wasn't sure what I wanted to do really, um, and then I finally decided that I really wanted hands-on experience in the lab um, because I was tired of just reading about lab techniques in books. So I, then I applied to this course and here I am. During my undergraduate, I had studied biomedical sciences and in the summer of my second year, I had done a 10 week project in a breast cancer lab. Doing this 10 weeks made me realize that I really wanted to get more hands-on experience in the lab. And one of the best things about this course is that you get to do two lots of six months rotations and all of that is spent in the lab as opposed to a lecture setting. So I did my bachelor's at the University of Kent um, and I did it in biochemistry um, and I had a module called Frontiers on Oncology where we were learning a lot about cancer research and um, how cancer has become so recent in our interests lately and here I am. the maths is really really useful at King's because it's you're so good that you get um, the two projects so you get two six months projects you get um, two different fields of experience lots more techniques you get to work with two different labs um, and yeah this course not only teaches you translational cancer medicine but it actually gives you uh, some transferable skill sets uh, that you can use for future jobs personally one of the most exciting aspects of this course is that you can walk away from it and think I contributed in some small way towards the furtherment of science and whether you get negative results or positive results it's all useful stuff and it just makes me very happy that I study this course. The Masters was personally amazing for me because not only did I get the opportunity to learn to become a better scientist I got the opportunity to see a lot of the clinical things that happen in the background. What I really like about the course is that there are two different six month rotation projects. So my first project it was with a clinician oncologist and my second project is with a basic researcher in leukaemia. So I get like a really broad range of experience there. So my first project was really, really independent and then my second project I was guided a little bit more throughout um, with a postdoc. And I just really like the variation, the different interactions that I have with postdocs, clinicians, with all the um, research associates, and yeah, I've just learned so much in the past year. One of the highlights of this course is how how much you're welcomed into each research group that you join, and how much you're made to feel like one of them, although you're at a much lower level in your career. So the experience I got in my first six months in the lab has taught me that I really, really enjoy being in the lab as I uh, initially thought I did and so I hope to continue in, in a research career in the future. I think the best part of at least working in James' lab for me was that there was a lot of independence. I got to plan my own experiments, I got to decide what happened with the project next and I could come up with the wackiest of the ideas that I wanted to try and as long as I had a rational justification for wanting to try that experiment, I had a free reign to try it. Um, I would say that this MRES is very different to most other masters where you study and do exams. You get to you get to have a go at what it's like working alongside really brilliant scientists and actually producing results. And actually one of the tasks is actually write your own paper. So this if they say PhD is the introduction to being an independent scientist, the MRES is an introduction to what it is like being a scientist.
So I think King's is such an amazing uni, um, being like a Russell group, and I just love it. I think the guys' campus is amazing, it's right next to the Shard and right next to London Bridge. There's just so much going on. There's such a big hustle bustle of people, you meet new people every day. Um, and it's just, there's just such an amazing energy and it's very dynamic because there's, you just, there's just so much going on in, in one place and loads of different types of students and people that are passionate about the same thing as you so I think it's just such an amazing place to get your master's or degree from or even do your PhD here. So one of the nice things about being a student at King's is, uh, or on this course in particular at King's, is that it's quite a small cohort. So there were only about 14 of us and we all got quite close and we all supported each other. And the campus itself is quite nice as well because uh, there's, you've got like, lots of coffee shops around and people, places to meet. And um, the, the number of times that we used to meet up and just sort of talk about our projects is quite a nice thing to do. experience of the MRES was a really positive one and I couldn't recommend it highly enough to other students. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a really good course. Have been able to spend so much time in a lab and getting a, a feel for two different labs is really important. I think the atmosphere at King's is very good and um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it here.